<laughs> Howdy! I told you they'd come. We're glad you're here. <laughs> We've been talking about this pack trip we're going to take to one of our favorite places in the whole world, and today's the day. Uh, this is my friend Mike Ewing. He's a famous cowboy singer and guitar player. He's done many, many different roles throughout his life. Uh, uh, EMT, uh, wilderness guide, uh, ski instructor, a uh, whitewater rafter. So I've got a great partner for this trip. So we left before sunlight this morning. We got our pickup and a horse trader and, and three horses. As you can see in the, in the distance there, old Ginger, she got the saw bug pack saddle on. So we'll be trying to figure out how to get all this stuff on old Ginger and we'll uh, check back with, in with you in a, in a few minutes. Okay, we are packed up. We are ready to go. We'll see you up the trail. Woohoo! The first test of any horse trip is the first water crossing. And we got ours right off the bat here. Two things about this one. It gets a little deep right up there. But we've got this long stretch of uh, shallow water. They can get used to the water before they have to step in anything that's deep. Everybody says it's okay. We're headed up Bear Creek. Mike and Geronimo are doing great. Gypsy's doing super. And if I get Ginger to stay back, keep that box off my leg, she'll be doing good too. That's a pretty shot. Having fun. That looks great. Our pack has ridden solid the whole way. Haven't had to adjust it, that's pretty unusual. Let the horses get a drink here. You get a drink, buddy? Okay. When we get to the top of that saddle back up there, that will be the first leg of our journey today. I'm right up there. We'll be up on that hillside in a little bit. Box will switch back. Down there just a little bit ago. Continue to climb, trail gets smaller. None gets steeper. <laughs> mm. Having good horses makes all the difference. Well, we made it to the top of the saddleback. Good job, Mike. Yeah, great ride. You did a great job. Great ride, beautiful. 
We started out at the foot of that far mountain down there. Then down at the bottom closer here, we got off our horses for a little bit. Came up that zigzag trail up that hillside there. We came up Bear Creek. And we're at the Bear Creek Willow Creek Divide. What you see right down there, that blue mountain and all that uh, pretty valley, that's the Willow Creek drainage. We're headed this way. In just a moment, you'll be able to see the next leg of our journey. In about an hour, that farthest point you can see, we'll be crossing that saddle back up there. By that time, we'll be walking because our horses will be tired. We're climbing higher and higher, higher we get the rockier it gets. Yeah, you can see why these horses need shoes up here. But we're within striking distance of the top and our horses are still energetic. We're having a very good day. We didn't talk about it, but that those packs we put on our pack horse, old Ginger's carrying back there. You know, they uh, we weighed everything we put in those boxes. We know exactly how much he's carrying. It's it's uh, almost exactly 140 pounds. Our target weight, the weight we didn't want to go over, was 150. Oh. Here's a tough spot. Oh yeah, good job, boys. So we'll see how, uh, it's really harder on the pack horse because she doesn't have a rider who is balancing themselves and, and, and using their mental energy to help them climb. It's all dead weight that she's carrying, it's just, bouncing on her back and slopping them from side to side. And so we'll see how she does right towards the end. She could have tried to cut that corner, and that creates a real problem, but she followed right behind us that time. She's turned out to be a good pack horse. Building muscles she's never had, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Well, old Geronimo scamper up there. How about that? Yeah, atta boy. Stay high. Atta boy. Yeah. Wait for Ginger. There she goes. Let's go. She's coming. Finding a good spot. Atta boy. You're doing super. Oh, looks like a resting spot there. Nice. You can move just a little bit farther. There you go. Nice. I wasn't even tiring. 
I'm not breathing hard. <laughs> <laughs> you must be in really good shape. I'm used to this mountain. We're close to the top, but there's still a ways to go. So uh, we don't want to wear our horses out that last stretch and have to repack them and, and walk. So okay. we're taking frequent rests, but we don't want to wear them out, especially our pack horse. If we wear out our pack horse, we have to take some of the weight off of her. And, and that all takes time. We'd rather just get to the lake. So we're up almost to the snow. Ooh. We are almost to the top and we're up here in the snow banks. We want to go, let's see what it looks like as we cross the top here. There is the Sawtooth Range of the Rocky Mountains right there. <laughs> and there's a the first look at our lakes right there. Spend our first night right down there at that lake. And then over there in that draw, there's a, another lake. And then if we're lucky, we'll go to the next hollow over there. And another, another lake over there. That one's got a lot of fish in it. on our way down to the lake. Well, we made it to the first camp. Everything's intact, doesn't even look like the horses sweat very much. Here's where the tent's gonna go. There's a big old fire pit. Well, better get these horses unpacked. Let them eat some grass before dark. We came from right up there over the top of that mountain in that low spot up there. Then what's for dinner, do you think? Lobster. <laughs> I just about got one in. Specify, I got no fish, but there's lobster there. Lobster. Okay. Or maybe a crawdads. 
these small lobsters, uh, mashed potatoes, and pork chops. Excellent. That sounds great. Yeah, we're gonna be eating like we're at a restaurant. <laughs> be very good. Let's Chef Dan fixing it for us. Our camp's not organized very well yet because we're leaving in the morning, so we're not going to organize it. But we did uh, take time to bring some firewood in. Won't be using this. Won't be fishing. <laughs> Here at this lake. <laughs> How do you know there's no fish in there? Well, when I went swimming earlier, I didn't see a thing. <laughs> Usually you'd see them jump this time of night and nothing rising at all. But it's clear so you can see the bottom there, right? So you can see there were no fish. Yeah, fish are hard to see in the water because they color the color of the bottom. And uh, in lakes like this, they don't move around too fast. So they're just still. And if you're real lucky, to, you can see them. But this time of night, if there's fish in there, they'd be going for the flies. <laughs> Nighttime. Mike's built a gigantic fire. We're waiting for the stars to come out. The sun set a couple hours ago because the mountains are so high. But the, the sky didn't really get dark till just recently. So we're enjoying a, a big campfire. We had to chase the horses down for a while. <laughs> They got a little brave and took off. You turn the horses loose, they go graze, thinking they're too tired to go anyplace, but they proved us wrong. Mike found them almost at the next lake. Enjoy the fire and tell stories and, and then hit the sack and start that fire up in the morning and have breakfast. We'll see you then.